Welcome everybody, it's Tell em. and in this video we're going to just pretty much sum up everything that we pretty much know so far about Watch Dogs 2 that we got from the 19 minute world premiere announcement thing, Watch Dogs 2, new location, new characters, and new hacks. So that one is about 13 minutes and the first one is 19 minutes so I'm going to try to sum it up for you guys hopefully around 9 minutes. So without further delay, let's get right into this. So they said something pretty interesting at the start, and quote, we broke the feeling that the world is centered on you. And they used the example of the NPCs can call the cops on other NPCs, and, and not NPCs is non-playable characters, so just other people in there for people who do not know. And NPCs can start fights with other NPCs, so it, it seems pretty cool. Those were both quotes, those two parts are separate parts of, this, of different quotes. And it's the, he said again, you need to feel that the city is alive, even if you do nothing. And if you do start playing, the city will react to you. And the, those are pretty much just all directly what he said. He, what he's pretty much getting across is that this city is going to go on with or without you. You can affect it. I'm pretty sure that's just message he's trying to get across. But next, he said there's going to be a couple of things we're going to be fighting against. There's going to be criminal groups fighting against other criminal groups, big, big corporations that will manipulate people in society, and there will be other hacking groups, which you can all fight against. So, how they made it sound, the main thing you're going to be fighting against are these big corporations who are just, I guess, doing bad things. We don't know exactly what they're doing right now, but Apparently they're doing bad things that and manipulating society, however, that is done. And there's going to be other hacking groups, and I think this is going to be similar, like a different hacking group, like how Aiden's not a part of Dead Sex, so maybe just other people like that. I that would be great if we saw Aiden in this game, but I don't think it's going to happen. And of course, there's the criminal groups, which is always a cool thing to go attack some other criminal groups. Well, not other, but some criminal. Then they kind of introduced a new hero, they called him Marcus, and they gave him a little background saying, quote, he was profiled the wrong way being, and being accused of a crime he didn't commit and that made him sort of go against the system. They also wanted him to be more parkour than Aiden and they talked about his melee weapon, weapon which is a billboard ball, not billboard, build bar ball. For people who don't know what that is, it's pretty much just a pool ball and oh my gosh, imagine you getting hit with a pool ball by, it's just attacked to a, a paracord lanyard they called it, but I'm just pretty sure it's just tied up to a power cord and they they just tie it up like that and my gosh it looks painful imagine you get hit with a pool ball that and that's some painful stuff and they also said you're you're a dead set hacker not a hacker so you're actually a part of a group you're not going to be alone like a, the lone wolf type of gameplay they had in Watch Dogs 1 or Watch Dogs and in this one, you're going to actually be working with other people. You can get help from other people. There, it's just, they were making a really big deal about this. So I had to point, just talk about that right there. Then they said they are going to push for more remote hacking. And also when you remote hack things, you can actually change perspective to that. It looks like you're actually controlling it. Not just like it did inside Watch Dogs 1 where you could just control things but you just like look at it from a distance but this one you can actually change your perspective from how you're actually controlling it. Which is cool and it's also an option you don't have to look at it from this angle. You could just do it the Watch Dogs 1 style but you could still have this option to switch it which I think is really cool so it works out for everybody. They also talked about how he had this new RC jumper and this quad copper copter and you can just when you're controlling these you can remotely hack things from there so you can you can be controlling it then you can hack things while you're in the perspective of the RC jumper and the quadcopter which is really cool they also said the quadcopter can have like a little missile or gun on it they said something like to bomb things it, was, it seemed pretty interesting I'm not exactly 100% sure what it is but it sounded really cool where you can just like put a little mini gun or something on it they said these can also be destroyed, but you can craft them back. And how this crafting thing works, you can, I think they, it made, well they made it sound like you could craft them anywhere, it's just on a cooldown really. You just have, once the cooldown's off, I guess you can just go select craft and then you'll have it back. But we can't be 100% sure, but that's how they made it sound. Also, there's this little thing you guys, I'll show on screen now, is that it kind of looks like there's going to be a mini game from the quad cop, for the quadcopter. And it, you, guys, you guys can see you just flying through all these rings, well not really rings, they're kind of like squares, but I guess you're going to be getting, and we'll talk about this in a little bit, but this is another way to get followers or XP inside this game. Now this was really cool, I thought this was really interesting because 
if you guys are unaware there is the there is an app called dead sick i talked about this in my trailer breakdown of Watch Dogs 2 if you guys want to check that out I'll link down the description and the annotation but pretty much what it is there's a dead sick app that anybody can download but that's the main part is is that you're going to be gaining followers through this dead sick app and this is going to be pretty much your xp system so you can get xp from or these followers or same thing followers equal xp in this situation so by doing, they said you can get it by doing side missions, you can get it by doing mini games, you can get it by doing the main story obviously, and multiplayer. And they haven't talked too much about multiplayer, but we'll get into the co-op mode they talked about later what, towards the end. Now this one I thought was really cool because they were focusing a lot on freedom inside this game. They made it sound like freedom, that you're going to be able to do everything your way and all this stuff. And I thought this was really cool when they said this. They said you can completely dodge a na main narrative mission and still complete the na main narrative. So the whole story you can still complete, but you can actually skip over a mission just because you didn't want to do it or you didn't think that it was right to do it or something like that. Now I'm not too sure how many times you can do this. I'm sure you can't do this with every mission. I'm pretty sure you, maybe you could do it with one or two missions. Hopefully this campaign or story mode is pretty long stuff because I, I like longer story modes inside these freedom games. And they also talked about a fast travel system inside Watch Dogs. Now, how this fast travel system is going to work, you can fast travel it to your HQ. And I'm not too sure if there's going to be multiple HQs or there's just one. But they also said you can also fast travel to any shops around the city. And he said there's going to be a lot of shops, so you're going to be able to travel fast travel to a lot of places. Now, I'm hoping it's not too easy to fast travel because... I'd still want to travel to some places by myself, but there are some times where I'm just not feeling it and I just want to fast travel everywhere. Now, if you were walking everywhere, I feel that there should be a lot more fast travel, but since there are vehicles, I don't think there should be that much fast travel, but just enough. I hope they can find it th just the right amount of fast travel. Now, they talked about this new feature in Watch Dogs 2, and they called it Network Hacking. Now, this is really cool, because I saw this so many times in the first 19-minute video, because they released these on different days, the 19-minute video, then the 13-minute video, and I kept looking, I was like, what the heck? And I'll have it on screen showing what it actually is, and it's called Network Hacking, and you can actually see through walls, and you can see people and hackable items through walls, which is really cool, and you can actually hack them through the wall. This is really cool and all, but hopefully it doesn't make the game too easy because I know it's cool and convenient, but hopefully it's just not too easy. I just don't want this game to be too easy. They're making it sound like it's kind of really easy, especially with these fast travel and the scene through wall thing. I'm, I'm happy it's there, but hopefully they find the right harmony between how difficult this game is and how easy. Now for the end, I wanted to save this one for last because uh, they kind of left it like they're going to talk more about this during E3 or something like that or sometime later on, that's what they said. This is really cool, it's a co-op or multiplayer inside the game. So they talked about, real. Uh, they made it sound like there's a co-op mode and there's multiplayer, which, which they made it sound like a co-op game is where you can actually do maybe full narrative missions with the, another person and multiplayer was kind of like an area where you just do some other things just to like maybe for more like competitive or not really competitive but just like to have fun or get other things and they said there's actual missions for co-op that are made for co-op i'm not too sure if that's the only way to do them of course we don't have that much information but they also said something really cool they said you can actually randomly run into other online players when you're both in single player and i'm not too sure if you get it can actually do anything like attack the other player but i'm i don't think they'll actually let you do that but you can just walk up to them and join a co-op game with them since you're all friends in dead sec you can all just join inside your games and you're going to be fine for the main thing anyways. They also say that you can actually, there's an app on your phone that you can actually just go to your contacts and join your your friend's game and just start a co-op game with him, which is all cool. He also says this single player thing where you just randomly run to other players can be turned off, so it's not an MMO, keep that in mind, so it's not a bunch of people who are going to be in your game, you can actually turn this off, but the, it has a little MMO-like feature, not really an MMO, but it's sim it has a feature like that. So that's about it for this, hopefully I summed up everything, if I did miss anything, go ahead and tell me down in the, com the comments. And if you guys did enjoy and found more information about Watch Dogs 2, go ahead and thumbs up. I'm going to be talking about a lot of video games, especially on E3. I'm going to be, I'm planning to be releasing a whole bunch of videos during uh, when we get any news about any cool game. So go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.